the first half. Okay, so this woman, first of all, she's from Newfoundland. Yes, you need to train yourself how to talk. <laughs> I took two. You're where? Halifax. Where in Halifax? Like actual Halifax, or like fucking Sac Vegas. No, Sac Vegas. Sac Vegas. What's the equivalent? Somewhere shitty. We're down. The place I live now. <laughs> no guy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so she's a maritimer. But look, I said a bunch of bad things about the Maritimes. It's the best place on earth. Except if you don't like fish. I do not like fish. <laughs> she has an album out called Peach. Yes. She's, yes. She's working on her second album. And uh, her, her album is for sale at the door tonight. Yes. Woo! Yes. Buy that shit. Please put your hands together for Claire Porta.
was a ceramic pair of tits. And I'm like, I get why you liked me, but come on. Um, he said I had dress shoes. <laughs> everybody one more time. Yeah, get rid of it. Get, get comfortable. 
comfortable. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. <laughs> Put your proverbial, I want to say sweatpants, but it's really naked, right? That's the yes, thing. stretch it out. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to... <laughs> okay. So, Claire, tell us about you. <laughs> what about me? This is a lot of pressure. Tell us what happened to the OK Cupid guy that last song was about. Oh, what, Christ. What, okay. <laughs> what was that situation? So, he was actually the second Asian man named Brian who played the bass that I've dated. <laughs> Small world. Because I have a type, apparently. Just like, like I, I, it was funny because like I was dating him and then my ex, Brian, who I'm still friends with, was coming to town. He's like, can I crash with you? I was like, totally. So I like, told They're my perfect boyfriend, Brian, 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 that ex-boyfriend Brian was coming. Just because like, I feel like it's respectful. Yeah. And he was like, did you find the only two? Like, yes. He still came though, didn't he? He and his fiance. He and his fiance. not like that. That's irrelevant. <laughs> His fiance, not your story. His yeah. fiance is a Oh yeah, but yeah, we ended up breaking up. I don't know. He he would like get on high on drugs, you know. Uh, oh, I do um, know. With like the types of drugs, he had a whole closet that like just sort of vaguely smelled of cat pee, and he was like, "Oh, my ex had a cat," and I was like, "Okay." But it turns out he stored all of his drugs in this closet that like no one would want to go into as like an anti-theft detection right. thing. Um, and I'm like, I'm not sure how many people want to pay top drawer for like MDMA that smells like cat pee. Um, but yeah, it, he just drove me crazy. Cause like, 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 okay, I'm not the most law-breaking person ever. Like I've been detained, but not arrested. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, There's a difference. There's a difference. Like, this is what security culture is. This is how you handle it. But he was still living in this condo that was like under his name and delivering drugs in the car that was like lent out under his name and like delivering drugs to like the West Island. And I'm like, you were the only Asian. Like, what are you doing? Like, they're gonna notice you. Like, hipster Asian dude driving around at four o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry. So I was like, call me when you're like not doing this anymore. Call me when you're sober. Yeah, and then we can keep having. And did he? No. <laughs> Brian never got his shit together. Brian's never get their shit Brian's together. Never. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask, do you still think about it? But if you like this evidence, think about Brian? No. Brian, no. You write the song, you're done. It's like taking like a psychic shit. <laughs> 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 you know, you tamp down the feeling pit, right? Like when you feel bad, you just shove it on down the feeling pit. Yes. Right? You know, just tamp it down with like a bottle of vodka, just like <clears throat> um, get back in there, and then you create something, and it's like, <clears throat> like you're good. <laughs> you take the heart, and you never think about Brian again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Claire Porter. Claire Porter, give it up one more time. Buy her album at the door. She'll sign it for you. Will you sign it? I have Sharpies, but only because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> But we still have a lot more amazing show. We were just going to take a little.